Hey YouTube, this is uh, King Cobra GFS with another video. Um, <clears throat> so I got some great news, a couple of good news actually, a couple of good things. <clears throat> so I just woke up and got out of bed, so I need my morning smoke. <laughs> uh, let me get the old backpack here and see what we got. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, I got you back out. So anyway, yesterday, I went to the barn at a Guinness, and it was quite nice. I then came home and cleaned my apartment. Made it look good. And then I left is the bathroom and the dishes, but other than that, I got a good start on it. Now, I have my posters hang, hung up all nice and originally neat and just laser straight, you know. But the one poster I had on, up there on my wall decided to fall off the wall and take all the other posters with it. So now as a result, I have posters on the wall that are crooked, and another one fell off after that. I woke up this morning, and the poster I had, that, which I started this entire mess, I decided to hang up above my bed. It's the BC Rich Warlock poster I made in high school, which, as it turns out, was, um, had that, um, freaking saran wrap shit on you know, that plastic wrap that teachers used to put on paper in school, yeah, I had that, and that kind of made it all rolly and shit, and it fucking fell off, so, yeah, oh well, so. of course, I, got, I come home at about 4 o'clock in the morning, and I'm tired, I want to go to bed, and my feet are blistering, and I go to be find out that my freaking posters are falling off, and I'm like, uh, oh, great, Yes, my feet are blistering. I um, won't really get new shoes until payday. Um, trying to try not to touch my savings account too much here because that's that's, that's, that's that's for a car. So, oh ha ha, King Cobra can't but now it's a syllable to retard. <laughs> I function basically, so yeah. It's part of my autism. I'm odd. Now, when all jokes aside, though, back in the carpet made it look good. <clears throat> so, yeah, my heart looks a lot better now. Just saying. Got a bull of tobacco. Alright. We got a pipe tool. A cheap ass big lighter. Alright. Or we can use matches. These things are okay. Are okay, but they're a pain in the ass to light because they don't stay light lit sometimes. So I never used matches on a pipe before, so let's let's give it a shot. Oh, course, depends on what like taste of cellophane in your or cellophane in your fucking pipe tobacco. <laughs> Good lord. Again, the pipe I was soaking out of. It's a Dr. Grabo billiard smooth and rusticated finish, straight stem, fish chill mouthpiece. I got it at Walgreens for 28 bucks. So, granted, it's not your most expensive pipe, it's not your cheapest either, but it's what I can get locally in cash for a show. Yeah. I'm out of cigarettes, so I'm smoking pipe tobacco. It's just I got tobacco, so yeah.
things you want to know about some kind of pipe is if you go like this, when you take a dry, it carves it, keeps it wet. See that? Now you're not constantly wasting matches or lighter fluid, whichever you use. You should take a drag, blow back in the bowl. It, it um, keeps the tobacco lit, so you're not wasting fluid on your lighter matches. So, it's a couple of tips I learned on YouTube watching the um, old time pipe smokers. So, I was smoking my pipe one day, and this old guy called me. He goes, "You keep that pipe lit in this Wyoming wind. It's impressive." I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> Well, anyway, a couple months ago, I had gone off SSI, and I've been living off SSI since then, and off of it, mind you, not on it, off of it, because I make too much money at Wendy's now, so I'm mighty proud of myself for that. Um, well, the thing of it is, SSI sends me a letter that says, um, you owe us money from this and this month. I'm like, yeah, but I was off SSI this month. I didn't try to fucking challenge it, because it's the government. You can't do shit, basically. Well, I get a text from my dad that says the SSI is refunding me for the money that they supposedly said I owed them. I'm like, oh, there is decency in our society after all. On top of that, I got my tax returns, so, you know, I'll come on the mo that money with the money I got my savings account and get me a car. Who knows? But I get, get my license first. Well, the thing of it is, I never would, uh, I think this is like my music too, especially as, um, I got my first BC Rich guitar, um, the one with the skulls on it, the skull on it. Uh, I had no musical patience with myself, and um, my parents were like, we're not buying another instrument until you take lessons. And my daddy goes, I'll tell you what, you buy that guitar, I'll pay for lessons. I'm like, all right, that's cool. So I got a paper out in nasty North Dakota weather, um, snow up to my knees sometimes. Shoppers do, especially on Friday, that was a real bitch. Papers like that fucking thick. I had like 50 of them. Sometimes 60 and two bags just crisscross across my neck. You know, so I worked my ass off to get that guitar. All gay jokes aside, because I know people are going to make a bunch of nasty negative comments. Um, uh, I saved up for my guitar and I got it, so, yeah. You know. And after all hard work and dedication, I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I'm going to give up guitar playing after... I worked my ass off to get that guitar. Fuck that. So I stuck with it, and then I like playing guitar. So yeah. If you're a pipe smoker, pipe tools are a wondrous thing to have. Got your tamper, got your scraper, and got your poker. Okay, these things are amazing to have. So get for like three bucks, easy. So yeah. <laughs> See much easier that is. But I know some people, you know, they smoke pipes, they go, Well, you're only supposed to use matches, or you're only supposed to use shit like that. And I just go, you know what? Let's just create stress. Smoking the pipes about enjoying your hobby and relaxing. It's not about having the right tobacco or the right pipe or you know, shit like that. You start going like that, you know, it's just pipe snobbery basically, as far as I'm concerned. But <clears throat> this um four aces regulars just cheap pipe tobacco. It's not what you call fancy high end like Dunhill or Peterson, but it works. So twenty bucks a bag in the last months, so you yeah. know. Only problem is it doesn't kick like a cigarette, so yeah. I don't really feel the need to make YouTube videos lately because of, um, I want to get better at my job and get better at guitar, so 
I figured YouTube's not going to help me with that productivity, so, yeah. That's why I don't help hide tobacco, this is harsh. But I don't care. To each his or her own. Be like, you're supposed to puff on the pipe like tasting a fine cigar or wine. You're supposed to inhale it, retard. It's like, you know what, dude? My pipe, my choice. So, yeah. Each garage wheel comes with a little, I don't know if you can use yours have this, but a little ace of spades right there, so, I don't know. They're American-made pipes, so, made up brighter, so. It's kind of cool they did the design like that, too, so, much as it and smooth, I don't know. It's kind of weird how they did it. I got pipe tobaccos that smell really sweet, and they're pleasing to the nose, and their aroma's nice, but some of the pipe tobaccos I got are real tongue scorchers, so, yeah. But if you want a good pipe tobacco to start off with, I'd recommend Seven Seas Royal Blend. It's amazing. It smells great. tastes great. It's got amazing strength, and all around a pleasant tobacco, so if you can find it, you know, it's good stuff, so. I haven't tried chewing pipe tobaccos, but wherever I, wherever I can get locally, because I don't have a credit card, so I can't order shit offline, so, yeah, otherwise I would. But, I've seen a couple of blends that just sound pretty fucking amazing to try, so, you know. So, yeah. You know, so I'm not wearing my spikes because my spike collar broke. Um, or freaking, all well, my bracelets broke. So my vampire fangs broke too. So, but it could be worse, I guess. So I'm not too forced about it. I had the um, vampire fang necklace wrapped around my skull chain here, and it tried to untangle it, and the chain just snapped off. So, yeah, shocked, but oh well. You sit down to enjoy a good bowl of pipe tobacco, it takes a lot more time than just lighting a cigarette and going, so there's that factor too. <laughs> but. See, I've gotten better at guitar. I'm just, that's what I was saying, you know, I'm trying to learn different things too, not just showing off, but. Oh, 
I got the first two notes. <laughs> Shit. Well, that's the advanced version I'm trying to learn, and that's going to take some time to learn, but there's a couple of simpler riffs you can learn, like Halloween. played exactly, but those are the notes you want to use when you're playing Halloween, so, you know. Drop D, two. Okay. This is another easier if you can play it, so the opening three days grace, never too late. by a little band called Green Day. Green Day is actually quite good, so... Thank <laughs> you. 
with me turning on the guitar is I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So, yeah. It's a wonder I stuck with guitar this long. It really is. But... song or whatever long enough I'll memorize it, master it, and I'm like, oh look I can play on YouTube now. Ah, sweet. So yeah. <laughs> Acoustic, you want to bend your finger chips with the best. You can't slack off like that, otherwise, you know, it won't sound right, obviously. So. Eventually, but the first two notes right. All right, progress.
so. Yep. Yeah, I'm working on a guitar and trying to get more structured with it. But if you follow me on YouTube, you know I do crazy soloing and shit, so. Oh. So, and my old BC which watch broke, so I got a new one recently, and she should be not too fancy, but it gets the job done, so. Suck sometimes, I will admit that. But the problem with life is that you can't give up because if you give up, life's gonna change and make it worse for you. So you gotta find that strength to keep going no matter how hard it gets. So, because life sucks for everyone. You think Paris Sultan's got an easy life, you know, just because she's rich and famous? Nah, you know, fuck that, dude. I'm willing to bet Paris Sultan gets ridiculed like everyone else, but because she's a celebrity, it's because she gets more ridiculed than others because of the fact she's a celebrity. Because our society has this fucked up view that if you're a celebrity and you're famous, you're expected to be perfect, and if you're not, you're likely an easy target for harassment by the general media and the public, and it's kind of sad, really. Um, Ozzy Rich, let's see. Life's like guitar. I mean, if you gave up on life when it got rough, you know what I'm saying? When it gets tough and when you're struggling, you never find out what you could possibly play. So one day you might have a, you know, playing some more from YouTube, like Iron Man or Crazy Train.
Sherry Pie. It's the opening so far, anyway, so. <laughs> So you don't have to be perfect with your guitar playing, but you know, you can practicing it better. I mean when I first started playing guitar I couldn't even sweep it, but now but now after months of practicing it, I managed to at least get three strings on the sweep here, so See how it's allowing it to make it more accurate, it's going to fuck up and make mistakes as part of playing guitar, so... Sometimes in life, you know, that's just life, you know, you're going to fuck up and make mistakes, but... Finding the strength to push through when even... All other options, you know, you seem like you can't do it, but... You know, you got to find the strength inside yourself. So, you know, important thing you do when you're playing guitar, fingertips, don't slack on your hand like that, don't get your fingertips. Makes a huge difference, and um, try using the tip of your pick instead of the side, and so much you can do is keep your hands there like that. So I hope she builds speed, but What's a little bit of speed without an accuracy? So that's why you want to take it to your acoustic. Maybe if you have one, start from the acoustic. And once you get good, a really good acoustic, you know, a couple of songs, you know, get an electric, show off, you know, which uh, press checks. <laughs> uh. Yeah, and if you want something bad enough in life, you'll actually work for it, so... And guitar playing is just one of those things, I wanted to really get a guitar, and I wasn't happy with the results I had. 
and over the years of build up, I've learned how to shred really fast. So listen, I want a couple of songs, and you know. <laughs> Two songs underneath my belt. Not the entire song of Green Day, but at least the opening, the acoustic bit. Um, uh, Halloween. So, <clears throat> yeah. On my way. <laughs> You can kind of follow a guitar and a shred like that, or you can, you know, learn to slow down, you know, and play some Beethoven or whatever, you know, it's your, it's your choice, really, so. And the important thing is not to let the haters or people who are better at you at guitar discriminate or destroy your, your passion for music, because there's going to be some people who say, well, I'm better at you in guitar because I can play A minor fifth pentatonic scale and you can't, ha, 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 you know, shit like that, and I just go, okay, I guess you have to learn that if I want to. I applied myself, but I don't care. I'm just playing guitar, enjoying it. So, yeah. <laughs> The important thing in life is don't stress it and just work work through it, you know? That's the same thing with guitars. Don't stress it, just work through it. So anyway, this is uh King Cobra JFS in the video and I thank y'all for watching and I'll see you guys later.